Yeah, check, check, my check. Welcome to another one of them candid conversations. Mm. You know how we get out, you know how we do. Today's a last special one. Yeah. Today we'll be honored to be talking to this gentleman from Mombasa in East Africa, Kenya. Some hot bubbling MC. As you can hear, yellow, one of them. Yeah. A big shout out to all our sponsors, a big shout out to all our well wishes, a uh, big shout out to Olympus Strike Foundations. A big shout out to Bush and Wine Adventures. A big shout out to JMC Electricals and not forgetting trigger accountants. Yeah. In a minute now, we will join the big man, Mr. African Shaba. There we go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another session of Candid Conversation. Like we promised you earlier, we're talking, we're talking to this gentleman, uh, from the Mombasa coast of East Africa, Night Kenya. Oh, sorry, I'm a Nairobi boy, so I've been saying Nairobi from time to time. You gotta forgive me on that one. Yeah, yeah big shout out to all our sponsors, our well wishes, and everybody. Yeah, Mr. African Shaba, welcome to the show. How are you doing, my brother? I'm very good, brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a there's a single that just came up, yeah. It dropped like yesterday, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, blessings, my brother. Good. Blessings, my brother. You're doing you're doing a lot of good things back there. You're doing a lot of good things back there. Slow Listen. down is the name of the track. Uh lockdown is the name of the slow down is the name of the track, yeah? Yeah, man, yeah, man. All right, let's listen to this one because I've been feeling this one for a minute, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, just to test that. Right. Candid conversation we have been here. You know how we do. If you're going to link on this, like later on, whatever platform, subscribe, share, do what you want to do. And if you don't, it's still good. This is what we do. Um, Mr. Yeah. African Shaba, welcome to the show. How are you keeping? Thank, thank you, DJ Lopo, man. Me, I'm good. I'm doing good. Uh, mm. Kenya is nice. The weather is, yeah, the weather is good. Everything is fine, man. We're just working. I, I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. Like, um, under this condition, uh, COVID-19, Corona and all that, um, how have you been holding up? Yo, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm among the lucky artists who really don't rely on uh, shows mm. only, you know. Mm. We, have, we have our music on almost all digital platforms, so we get mm. our revenues mm. through this platform. So we've been holding up, you know. Mm. This is the time to, you know, write more music and try to uh, focus and think about ourselves. And, you know, it, it, was, a good, it was a good experience, actually, uh, although it is a pandemic but uh, it, it also brought uh, you know good things with it you know that the solitude the kind of thing you know you try to find yourself and try to understand yourself more great, you know great. so yeah. it, it has been a it, it has been a good and bad experience i know uh, but i think it's one of the times where 
uh, kila mtu amelazimishwa kuteka pause when life gives you lemon you make lemonade i think it's okay so that right so well put well put yeah you know but it was amazing so you look deep into yourself you reach into yourself you do this you do that and then like you say mm. out of everything bad comes something good right comes something good so mm. sir yeah mm. um mr african shaba tafadhali in your mm. own hearts hebu tueleze where you started hadi kaja ikafikia hapa malituko which i got to say you putting out some good tunes i've been talking to a couple of people and people in the diaspora and like well there's a boy there's a man to look out for and it's a good feeling so to for that in your own words what happened you thank you man thank you man thank you for the opportunity so um it all started way back in uh, when i was in campus mm. that's when i i started music yeah my producer and i were very young dudes you know Uh, we just found ourselves um, together in a in a classroom okay so we 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 discovered each other mm. so we started uh, skiving classes you know and going to the studio <laughs> doing this doing that mm. you know so that's how we grew that's how we grew and uh, he nurtured me mm. at first i was i was i was an i was a hip hop artist actually oh. i started yeah i started with the hardcore hip hop you know mm. And then uh, eventually, I just um, I found myself listening to a lot of uh, Caribbean music, mm. and then I adopted that culture. Like uh, it, it it was part of me now. So then I recorded my first dance song. Mm. So it was called it was called Under 18. I remember Under 18. Okay. And my producer and my producer was uh, was the one who did the chorus for me. So it was it was an experience. Mm. Again, um, from there. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been with the uh, I've been with several managements actually. Mm-hmm. I started I started alone. Mm-hmm. But then I came to work with the uh, producers, big producers like um uh, first let me pick up my producer, my initial producer, the one who discovered me, uh, mm-hmm. Grandmaster Techniques. Grandmaster uh, Nani? Um, Naf- Techniques, Mr. Okay. Yeah, producer Techniques. Big up Mr. Yeah. Techniques. Naf- Kazi yako safi, tunaipenda huko. no respect man mm. and then um i i was i was called in nairobi mm. uh like uh, uh four years ago i was called in nairobi by the, one of the biggest producers uh, ted josiah if you know if you ever heard of ted josiah <laughs> yeah definitely you never josiah. heard of okay ted josiah in kenya is like quincy jones ted josiah is like that exactly that's a lot of people yeah 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 exactly yeah, man. a lot of respect to him he discovered me after he did a reggae song called African Queen so from the song okay. he saw he saw something in me and he called me we, we were actually in the process of signing and you know being part of the his studio Sandstone Studios part of his record label mm. but then uh, things went south we even did a video okay we even did a video yeah, with one of his artists Masauti Masauti was one of his artists Masauti oh. yeah I, I even have a song with him at that time he was with uh, Ted Josiah so oh, okay uh, it, it has been a journey then from there I got another management things went south I got a, a management from the UK a DJ mm. from UK mm. he, did, he did we did a video with him pick up that is his production we did we did pick up with him he, did, mm. he funded me with the videos and stuff mm. but then things went south also but he assisted me a lot now free okay. to DJ Bloom again um then that's when i met my current uh, management mm. mr brian sunday yeah mm. so the freelance entertainment freelance yeah, really yeah. helping me out yeah big a big shout out freelance 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 entertainment they they that like from our, my communication with them i have nothing but good words to say about freelance entertainment yeah, listen kaka ni kama una talk to the mambo mbili i'm attacking kuzaliwa umezaliwa wapi when you were growing up what kind of music were you listening to na mtuka hizo kabla ufikie hapa okay um i was born in mombasa mombasa mm. kenya mm. yeah man and uh, that's a coastal I was, a coastal town the coastal, coastal yeah, city the, the coast don't know yeah coastal city of kenya yeah mm. coastal city of kenya mm. i was born in mombasa mm. and I, I i grew up listening first i grew up listening to hip hop you know mm. but then I came to realize I came to realize hip hop and reggae and dancehall culture are more like you know 
the Brother same good people. Yeah. There's love, yeah. yeah. They're all Brother. about love and unity and you know togetherness, you know. So I, I, I grew up listening to hip hop, but then I switched. Mm. I switched to dance because it was more, I feel like it related more with my lifestyle and how the setup is, you know, okay. uh, where they're bringing, they're bringing, yeah. Mm. So I grew up listening to dance of the likes of Vibes Cartel, ah. Commissions at the time, mm. uh, Christopher Martin, Charles Riley, you know, mm. they inspired me. So I tried that genre. Mm. First, I had to study it. Mm. I studied the genre, I studied the, how they speak, the patois and stuff. Okay. Try to understand them, and then now I try to implement it in in songs. Mm. Then I just found out I'm I'm actually good at it, so I stuck with okay. it. Cousin Zuri, I, I really really recommend you. Let's listen to what we're talking about. Pick up. But sweet it up. No one is available. Take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Stop the mood. Yeah. Oh, I said you want me to pull us that good. We won't be tell ya. Okay, maybe we can do. Who can talk about the baby rush to the roof? Me a Ficalia. Me a Ficalia. Me a Ficalia. Me no one else story where you hear about. Kabat people are wild. Like you pick your phone, girl, you'll be home. I like them, I tell ya. Me no one else story where you hear about. Kabat people are wild. Make your make your phone, girl, you'll be home. Listen, my brother. One thing I like, yeah, man. Uh, na uandi shiwako is um. You use the two languages, Nigeria. Uh, and I tell you this, um, it's this Safi Sana Manake. For somebody who doesn't understand Swahili, you lead him to the story. through the story. It's a beautiful thing. It's a really, really a beautiful thing. And that will encourage and delay evil, evil. Yeah, like uh, in you can try and reach out like a bigger audience. But in Africa, Mali, that's kind of what sets you apart from to Mwingine when you're not whether it's dance solo thing, right? So, um, and Abimbi, how did we come to this name African Shaba? Though I think I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you want to guess? <laughs> yeah. Uh, thing to do with the, the big man. Abiyo man! <laughs> yeah, man, the big man, man. I love his energy, you know, Shabarang, so I really love his energy in the dance or music, in the dance or scene. Mm. So, I think I feel I have the same energy. I feel I can put in the same energy to the, the dance or scene in, in African uh, worldwide. So mm. I, I, I said, why not? I'm the African version of Shaba. So mm. that's how my name came. African mm. Shaba, yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Big, big up Shaba Ranks. Yeah, yeah big up Shaba Ranks and all the dance and fraternity when you're on the Kujami Palembele. Right, uh, talk to yeah, me man. about. Uh, so when was this? You started like Ziki uh, Kamsak record Nani Nanini. Um, what you say you started in uh six years ago, is it? Yeah, man, yeah. So, so you've been, you been in this music six years ago, right? Not even you've been here, you've been there, you've experienced a lot, a, a little bit here and there. So, talk to me about what are some of the challenges that you've experienced and um, how did you raise across them? How did you raise about them? Um, there's one that I don't think I'll overcome yet. Mm. Uh, 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 my biggest challenge, uh, as I always say, is understanding the music itself. Oh. Apart from the challenges, yeah, apart from the challenges that you know, the normal challenges of an upcoming artist, understanding the music itself. The mm. music is dynamic. The music evolves. You know, you have to carry your audience every time. You know, as time changes, you know, you have to change with the times. Mm. But uh, normal challenges uh, as an upcoming artist, you know, uh, studio time, mm. that was a challenge as I grew up. Mm. I couldn't afford that video, okay. you know, making good quality videos was mm. a challenge. Mm. Thanks to my management, now everything is uh, actually sorted. Yeah, mm. so 
but now it's just work. So some of the journeys, some some of the challenges are those. Again, also um, when I was starting, mm. this kind of vibe in the coastal area in our place is uh, not common. Okay. You understand? You know, we border we we border Tanzania. Yeah, Tanzania. So most of, most of the music, exactly. So the most of the music that. Uh, people listen to is actually the bongo music mm. so people are used to that that kind of style okay. so accepting my style does, has also been a challenge uh, so i've been targeting a larger audience mm. but my audience actually my home ground has been a bit uh, tricky you know like, uh, grasping them but um, i'm heading there that's why that's why the idea of fusing my swahili and the, that culture came by okay. so that yeah so that i bring my audience closer yeah. As much as the outside audience can understand me, the, mm. the, 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 the home ground has to like have to carry them with me. Definitely. So that has been a challenge. That's been that has been a challenge. Yeah, uh which I think is the thing for everybody. Like when you start when you are well, anybody outside would think like, ah, oh, see when you're too even naive and then it can be easy. No, what the see or I see or uh and uh but not be when you want to believe wow. So no, it shouldn't. It should be scoopish, Sana. When I be when you are yeah, wow, somebody has to hear from like maybe right now after then because <clears throat> I'll tell you this, yeah. We have um yeah, we have kind of a network of DJs that we try to say they are sunny wanna talk a home, like from here, states, nini, nini. We we try to so like a short of few messages here and there, we're gonna, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, me na kumbi na joashkadi wat madidi kama wanne watano wala yeah. <laughs> like who you are now kind of thing. It's just kind of like your work ethic, and then you ain't gonna touch a belly, right? Like you shouldn't be worried about that. Um, which and then you shall fika your level, you can fika mali, maybe there'll be something to prove something. No, no, it's a it's like you say, it's progressive, na nina nina nina, which is which makes it yeah. bit sweet in a certain way, but even your kuko. I and it's like um no more yeah no more big turn mm -hmm. featuring Yvonne is it yeah even duck even duck yeah bigger bigger even duck man very talented <laughs> Hello. Oh, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. There's something there I like. The quill is there. Yo, my guy, he, he, he takes you there. I'm gonna take you there. So, 
Speaking yeah, about um, your writing process, how is it? How's your writing process? Mm, my writing process actually it's simple. I always say um, there has to be a, a muse, you know, something that uh, drives you to to write. So actually, my writing process is simple. I, I first get the I get the instrument to mm. understand. So I, uh, the producer can like make it and send, or maybe I can be I can be there first creating with him okay. the instrument, and then mm. after that, now the instrumental guides me. Mm. It gives me the melodies, you know, because mm -hmm. it it already gives me the feeling, you know. So it gives me a certain feeling. If it's a happy happy instrumental it gives me a happy feeling and then I create melodies around it and then boom okay. we record it i don't usually take time i don't usually take time to write actually if i get the melodies right uh we, mm. we're killing it we can kill even three songs a night okay you know mm. yeah so it's that's how my writing process is ah 50 50. uh mm. some people like what i said about our and then they just punch in punch in what do you think about that yeah, that has happened to me before. Sometimes okay. you know the vibe is just right. Yeah, sometimes the vibe is right. You don't you don't need to write anything. Yeah, you just flow. Yeah, it's it's possible. That's that's actually that you can come out with a very good song out of that because you know that's the right feeling. That's what you're feeling at the moment. That particular so it yeah 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 man. It, that's that's usually it. You understand? All right. So yeah. The writing processes are in many forms, you know. Uh, as long as you just come out with something. Yeah. Listen, candid conversation. We're still talking to the African Shaba. We're loving his works over here. Yeah, man. And a big shout out to all our sponsors and our well wishes. A big shout out to Bush and Wine Adventures, Olympia Strike Foundation, JMC Electricals, and Twiga Accountants. Now, talk to me about um, Umezungumzia Kusu streaming platforms na nasikia sai spotify imefika huko right um yeah, man. yeah uh, man. how was it before that though kwa sababu you were you you did, you weren't there when uh, it when it kama ngumu like the entry the entry to muziki ku fika inje ilikuwa it was only radio right so we came yeah, from man. that sai kuna all these other platforms that can do that which is a beautiful thing right so What's your take on that? What, 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 uh, how is it going to influence uh, Wasani? Actually, social media has been the best thing that has ever happened mm. to, to, the, to the music uh, fraternity, mm. music to the music personalities, you know, the, the, you understand the entertainment uh, personalities. Mm. Actually, before, when there, when there was no these uh, social platforms, eh? Mm. social media platforms and you know digital outlets mm. you had to like you, your song had to be played uh, in the radio and there were a lot of artists it was so hard for 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 those songs to reach out you, yeah, know, it, yeah. you could you could be you could be a star locally but now reaching out to other people yeah. in the outside yeah. market was very difficult so mm. big up every social media platform every digital outlets these things are really helping people are actually making money without without having to like get radio plays or you understand mm. yeah, there are a lot of digital outlets that when you put your music there they distribute for you and you see your revenues and you can deposit you can you can withdraw you understand and use yeah. your money you can keep you can so, keep track of how you, know, you can keep track of yeah. how your tracks are performing outside yeah. you know which country listens to you mm. actually big respect to spotify for reaching in kenya mm -hmm. it, 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 it is a good it is a good step it is a good, it is a good move for artists because mm. look look for example in our country kenya mm. you know actually the entertainment is not really the entertainment industry is not really being looked at like with, with the government that, that's a fact i'm not ah. i'm not trying to Really? I'm not really? trying to like, yeah, stop no, down, here, but it's true. Your mumble from Wengi, right? Yeah, man, uh, artists are fighting on their own, bro. Yeah, artists yeah, are just fighting on their own. For institutions that What's, are out uh, there, yeah. like, like the Ministry or whoever from the government side or from the legit side is supposed to be doing anything for the artist or creative. They're not doing it, I, I think, or they're not Look doing at the it. Legs. So, 
Yeah, man, look at the likes of like Tanzania, our neighboring country. They have a whole ministry mm. for entertainment. Like, yeah, the music industry has, a, has its own ministry. But now Kenya, we are, music is fused with the Ministry of Sports, and I don't know what. Like it's not, it's something that is not uh, really taken seriously. So artists are really fighting. These social media platforms have helped us achieve what we want to achieve through music, okay. for re reaching out people outside there. So bigger, bigger pl every, uh, uh, platform mm. that is there. It's really helping artists out there. From the and, and also. Many generations, yeah, right. Love story, love story. We're going reggae music now. Mm. Amazing, eyes have come to my love. So, if we can see, apparently, I smash into a love. So, what do we see? I need a death to so sure. do. Before this not sure for me, This one skipped me a little bit. So I don't know if I'm going Amazingly, eyes have come to the love. So effortlessly, apparently, like a music. eyes mm. rush into a love. So ruthlessly, I need a death wheel to seek my fortune and fame. Before this match up for me, yes, for me. Sure. Um, yeah, I think that's the beauty of the um, video. That's the beauty of uh, doing dance, right? Uh, the beauty of doing dance is like um, uh, you're cl closely linked to my reggae music. I think there's, uh, there's a close relationship between dance and reggae music. And despite what I don't know whether the rest of the world know, but reggae music is so huge in Africa, it's so huge in Kenya, it's massive. It's loved. Yeah, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, I was speaking to another artist, uh, Johnny Puka. He's an old, uh, he's, a, yeah. he's a legend, a pioneer. Um, he wakianza ili kwa gangumu ile ukingia kwenye vinyozi unasikia reggae music. No, na ili kwa gangumu ile ukingia kwa matri unasikia muziki. Them days, ndiyo saki na kwa left, yu anatuwa matepu za nina nini. And he was so happy and blessed because everywhere you go is a dubbing dubbing right but but it wasn't like that yeah. when he was singing the music right it wasn't like that so now everywhere you go in kenya reggae music is playing man it's so funny everywhere bro it's so funny back up now the politicians are jumping on the bandwagon yakuza porojo yao wanasema Nobody do reggae do music. Reggae, reggae time and yeah, then it's so funny because so these, the, these are the same people who like sometime down the line what you see what I'm saying? What to a what to a bang, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what they say. Well, right now, for them kuzama, whatever serazao, so so on a to me yo yo. What's the matic? The system is funny, it's messed up. Politics. Mina the kaga politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> politics. Eyes have come to the love, so in focus, apparently, I smash into a love. Smash into a love, so who let me see? So who let me see? Smash into a love, so who let me see? Before this natural for me, it's easy. Vision, you need to 
Talk yeah. to me, my brother. Um, so with them, partly like a sidebar from when you talk about Like, uh, what do you think is the, is the current state of uh, Kenyan music? Manake say kuna kuna ata nasikia genge tone. Like, there's there's enough of a buffet for everybody, right? So, what's your yeah, take man. on this new sound in Yemekokea and Yesai na ito genge tone? What's your honest take of it? Okay, my honest take is okay. I'm going to talk the good and the bad side. Mm. The good side of it is that finally, mm. the Kenyan people have embraced their own. You know, we, we were embracing a lot of foreign music. Okay. So, which I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's it's wrong. Mm. Music is supposed to promote love and peace and unity. Yes. Okay. But definitely. We we need we need to have we need to have like platforms for our people. Mm. So it was it was a good wave. It's a wave that. Uh, came but uh on the bad side i don't think it's gonna last because the, the kind of music you know the kind of music they're selling out here is a bit uh <laughs> it's, it's it's uh yeah, yeah it's vulgar and you know they have a lot of uh but it was a good thing that actually kenyans could embrace their own thing you know it's our thing it, it was invented by our people clearly, clearly. so that was the nice thing about it so we need more and more and more uh, waves to come, yes, understand? Yes. So that we can, yeah, so that we can have this culture of loving our own music. Yeah. So, but uh, uh, it's, it's sad news that it's not, it's not going to last because. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's, when will find again at all? Actually, I cannot be. I cannot. I don't go with waves. Yeah, I'm sticking to my genre because that's uh, what I believe in. Okay. There's a, I, I can do a collaboration with a gang it or not but not changing right. my style okay yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. yeah we will just take it. to me nadani what have you now apate when you say matter serikali wa isaidi let's check it so every every video now when they want to come and share which i think they're reflecting how life is what kind of life they're living right mm -hmm. so mso kashfu kama mwa saidi you see what i'm saying yeah man. and like Nikio Tajami Livakunona, I've listened to them, right? Kama Kunamoja Nyeli Tokea, they are basically reflecting what's happening in the society. Ikum Tiko Manasia Samoja Munye, Aki Ujiwa Maki to be a Yamaka Sema, Kama Siro Kana Mamayago, right? Hey, Lonyangapu, it's called Lonyangapu. Yeah, then now Vijana can now Kaichkua that phrase, Wakaifanya. A hook. A chorus, mzuri sana. Very sasa, good hook, catchy. Exactly. Sasa, utala umu nani hapo sasa. You see what I'm saying? Because ata nyinyi, wanasia sama viongozi, hivyo ni umnazungumza. You see what I'm saying? So, siyezi wala umu okay. sana. Do, do nile nasema, baadae, when you say, once the wave pass, ni kama class. Mukingi ya class, yu kila mtu watapita. Remember, there was a time back then when um, Nonini alikuwa the darkest rapper. Welcome, we'll call the darkest trapper. Then a couple of people walk at your book for Navo. Sandia King, here you in here, whichever way you in here, and then when I progress, we dog and dog when you know that's my belief, right? That's my belief. Yo, Again, let me add on something. Uh, go on. Like the generation they are singing to right now, mm. the Gangeton people, the generation they are singing to, remember it's also growing. Yeah. So they, 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 there'll be a time they'll be grown ups and there'll be you know people who are respecting yeah. society and they're yeah. Gonna, um, yeah, Quelly, Quelly, I see you. I see you. Oh, oh, God. Oh. We're here now. Dope na cocaine. Anything when you do, do it fast, say you say. Say you say. Never mind, gone papa say. Not pain again. Peace on game. Fuck me life. Yeah. 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 Some more them speeches. 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 Your hip hop roots, my little flan is here. Yes, yes, yes. I know you cross me, I think it be real with my friend, them, I see me stuff. See the beer walk them well like very cool. What are the flash for the query? That's a boy, they will go to the query. They can only say, look at the query. See, I'm about to kill them in a red. You are now. 
Everybody so clean, them fresh and up. Any man who feel them bad, bring them shot. We run out of energy, kill them chat. We you know we are yes, men, so push them crap. Hey, girl, what we... My brother, big tune, big tune. Tune up the tune up. My favorite tune. <laughs> tune up the tune up the tune. Right. Oh, yeah. That's actually my favorite, man. I'm going to knock out. Smack it 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 out. Yeah, man. You are now. Everybody's so clean, them fresh and up. Any man who feel them bad, bring them strong. You run out of energy, feel them chop. We can have the highest meds, but push them crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do this sound in a really bad one? Boy. To the bass in a reading, you know. Then you get to the room, all the music, you know. Then you play more and more. You play more and more. Feeling, feeling some type of way. Feeling some type of way. Yes, sir. Like a holiday. Pick up me for the day. I can't hear what your neighbor say. I can't hear what your neighbor say. Is it goodbye to me? Producer Danny Tenner, we need to big up this man. Techniques, techniques, yeah, yeah, techniques, techniques to buy. Grandmaster Tech. Grandmaster Tech. Uh, Grandmaster, no free speech. Man. Man, girl, I stick like pins and corn. Freaky girl, no one live boy alone. See the mountain, bring your cup up, feel a sit up. One in the sky, little eye, rough up everybody, not the place, clean and ready for your mash up. One more cloud. Talk to me, my brother. Um, the kid yeah, on Del Sani, uh, live shows. When was your last live show? In Kwa O. How was it the first time you saw me when you stayed with Kim Biawatu? How was that? Hey, uh, actually, funny enough, I, I have no st stage fright. Mm. Like I usually, I have that. I, I usually have that, you know, oomph to show what I have. Mm. So I, I don't have. I don't fear. Like I, I, I am so energetic. Okay, that's for sure. Mm. I'm so energetic in my in, in my performances. And the last time I had a performance wasn't wasn't Kitambo. It was just I think uh, January. Mm. January, I, I did some a cl some club appearance somewhere and I performed and mm. yeah, we had a good time. So I have had a lot of experiences with that. Even before my management, I have been doing these things. Okay. And, um, too bad I've not been uh, you know documenting them. You know. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Sunny. Uh, I'm sure your management, your big up to Freelis, uh, Freelis mm -hmm. management, like one of Fanya Kazi Power, right? That's how I got to know about you. And then we speak behind the scenes here when we hook this up. Yeah, man, yeah, man. But, Sasa, Lazima Inafika is Saima Limefika, we need to see more of you. We need to see more of you. See what are true visuals, the video, which can be organized. We need to see more of you, Kama. On stage, let's check you on stage. Yes, you, yes. In a, una, it, in a vutia sana, yani it adds that extra. Mm, una check it. That's where, that's basically what separates the boys from the men. Una check it. Yeah, man. Okay. You will him sani, And then True. obviously you start just by maybe playback and then with the hopes like for you to develop una fauna in the leather back in Africa Mali, back a live band. Na nini, na nini. Live, and exactly. That, yeah. That's very important. And there's no running away from that. There's no running away from that. Such a from conceptual such you know, depend really that to you okay, live band in and in it. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Talk to me. Actually, we're headed there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's a beautiful thing. Talk to me about uh collabogani ungependa. I'm a nani sha collab nayan and collabogani ungependa. Locally. Oh, okay. Locally, locally. Yeah, locally, there's an artist, uh, Nishinsky. Actually, ah, I just love how he, yeah, yeah, I really love how he does his thing. Yeah, yeah. Nishinsky and Fena, and Fena Gitu. Those are the two ah. artists that uh, I, I would really love to collaborate with. I love their works, you know, they're very mm. organized and mm. very talented. 
mm. enough respect to them. Fenagi to yeah. Shinsky, enough respect. Big shout out to Jens. And then, Shinsky. yeah, man, and then and, uh, the outside the world, mm. hey, I have a lot of people really want to collab with, but number one, mm. there's a Jamaican artist, Dexter Daps, and also Cranium. You know, those Cranium. two people, I yeah. really would love to meet Dexter and vibe with them. Okay. I see you, yeah, I, I really see like uh, Cranium, so that's not Cranium, right? I see, yeah, I man. see how like, there's a scan and a cranium. I see, I can exactly, see, man. I can see it somewhere. It is a qua. And then, Zingine Kama, if I tell you, Kaka, you speak it into existence. And I take it. And I say, my even deal in a fikiapo, so sabah. They come to pass. Yeah. yeah, it comes to pass. Now, now, yeah, you, Kabisa, Kabisa, you can and it can work. And I take it. And despite that, when you say reggae is so big back home, we've seen these collabs from international reggae artists with our local artists, Red Sun and DeMarco. Mm-hmm. Victor Miles and uh, Elephant yeah. Man, Tyra Frehley and Wanaito yeah. uh, Nani. In a, Tyra Frehley did something with, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Tyra Frehley did something. Yes. Yeah. So basically, when you're in Asema, in Ezekana, in Ezekana, so don't, don't sweat it, it's a fiki apple. So, sir, I mean, yeah, it's a fiki, it's a fiki apple. It's still shaka, it's a fiki apple. A big shaka to everybody who's going to log on to this sometime later or whatever, yeah? Uh, candid conversation, we've been talking to Mr. African Shaba. Yeah, this is a dance hall sensation. Uja mama mtakuja kumsikia very soon taking over this dance. Because definitely what chani kuambia mapema mapema well, to me, like, it's locked up here right now. So there, there isn't nothing, in, the street is shut, right? Nothing is moving, right? But as soon as in answer, as soon as in answer, mina pendelea vitu kama hizi manake kama DJ ni kiondoka. I got some fire things. I got some fire things in yenda kwa liki wachili wa na chingwa. Wow! Who's that? Yeah, man. And that's why sana yeah. shukuru sana kwanza like I have a so now I have a personal relationship with this song, right? Then the pale katikati ya ma DJ wa acha wa Jamaica na wachezea muziki yako na shindwa. Ah. Na ni huyu manake wamechanganyikiwa wana they get the vibe, they enjoying it. Lakini pia wanaona ala nini wengine amesema yenye atuelewi. Na so that's where I see it. You know na because it's it's been like that mikiches a red sun and the mark or somebody in the club, right? Somebody wants to come for ask for a wheel back, but I think what who's a lunatic and I love that. Yeah, what sets me yeah. aside now, you know, you see what I'm saying? It, sets yeah, me aside it makes now. you stand out, it makes me stand out. I love that. So, thank you so much for taking your time. Nashkuru Sana, Mr. African Shaba. A big shout out to Freely's Entertainment, they're doing a good job. I have a sick for Malaysia when I do a see him, Louis of Is there anything you want to say to your fans? <laughs> Yo, I'd like to big up each and everybody, my fans from all over the world, you understand? Mm-hmm. Big up, enough respect, more music coming away, you know, it's music, 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 and it's a blessing to have you around me, mm-hmm. blessing to have my team around me, blessing to have the producers around me, and my fellow artists, big up, everybody. DJ Lopo, yeah. you're a big, you're a true brother, man. You're nah, a true brother. Bless up, Kaka. Ebu wa kumbusha wa takupata wapi in these social media. Ni, ni, Yo, ni African in, Shaba on, on all all my social media platforms, platforms Twitter, yeah. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, it's, uh, YouTube, it's at African Shaba. Yeah. All right. Uh, finishing up, Nasema, a big shout out to Feelies Entertainment, a big shout out to everybody who's going to log up. I see Mr. Kester is in the house, a big shout out to the man there. So, uh, much love, much respect, much thanks. Watch your apple.